coaches tap out. Listen to Truth on Tap. DJ Bad Guy says so. The Truth on Tap with hosts Kevin How can I say that my show is Truth on Tap if I don't come in here and set you free? Ooh, are we going to talk about some shit tonight? Get your friends in here. Get them in. Opening up the truth pipeline. So what's this show going to be? Well, I'm going to set you free. That's what the truth does. For these bitches. Westjohnson.com. Check them out. This is crazy. You know I love pickles and peanut butter. I cannot get enough of that. Pickles and peanut butter is like an orgasm during an orgasm, if that's even possible. I couldn't imagine the biological possibility of it, yet the fantastical fantasy possibility is quite real. I am going to uncover the deepest, darkest parts of the human psyche right in front of you. Truth on Tap is now flowing from iHeartRadio. Get your Kirstead fix by Googling Truth on Tap with Kevin A. Kirstead. Uh, I mean, I, I could have fun with this guy, though. He's got a picture of his penis up there, and he guess he's a, he's a black dude looking for a twink. All the truth you can handle running hot on iHeart, Facebook, Spreaker, and more. You want the truth? Feel the blunt force trauma of that during the show. We are. Go tap out. Get the truth. Truth on tap. 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 It must be 5.02 p.m. on 11 one Don't forget, my fine, furry, feathered friends, to set your clock back tonight if you're doing the daylight savings thing. Uh, let, let's make sure, you know, uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if I like the way this is sounding. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn the. Uh, yeah, I don't like the way that sounds. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn uh, something down here real quick. That would be the amplification settings. Input mic amp. We'll go with uh, seven. <laughs> Okay, now we're back and we're getting the show underway regardless of the quality of the sound. We're going to go forward. Yeah, I, I tried the... Uh, it's weird because I have all the sound settings the way they were. The only thing I did was boost mic. Yeah. Okay, I, that sounds good enough to me. Now, listen to this, folks. We got a problem with the sexual harassment thing. It is time for us to be honest. Now, you guys know that I came in here basically to attack the PC part of the harassment issue, which was given uh, air and flame and already had the spark by the girl who walked around for something like 10 or 12 hours around New York City in hip hugger jeans and is now complaining that she got flirted with too much or harassed okay now let's talk about this for a minute we're gonna we're gonna define some things before we begin as I always like to do here on truth on tap by the way in the chat room right now first was apocalypse he gets the gold medal chris crash jesus is in there from htla1 radio out of new york he and his wife do a lovely show together and they do shows separately uh and he has a re uh, a rebuilt website which is quite awesome so you do need to check that out both of these guys have their own shows and uh i want you to go check them out if I didn't like them or didn't like their shows, I would tell you, I just wouldn't say anything. So, <clears throat> so moving on now, uh, listen, folks, 
here's what I think about PC. PC generally is pretty cool. Uh, you know, I, I think what it does is remind us of what our manners should be. Do you know what I mean by that? Look, some PC is way over the top. You know, people like to talk about extreme examples. This is a problem in America, and you see this on major, especially conservative news networks. They like to go to extremes. Well, if it's not black, it must be white, okay? So you're going to get, this PC is ridiculous. Just call it a manhole cover. Okay, that's not really what the debate's about. Because most people are going to say, you're right. Why not just call it a manhole cover? Well, if there's a woman going down there 12 hours a day, maybe she does get offended by it. But that's not what everybody's arguing about. So let's be honest. Let's talk about the very popular PC items, not the manhole cover debate. Because, yes, you're, you're cherry-picking there. You're, you're picking the fruit to make your case. And uh, it gets into a whole plethora, which is a word I hate because it sounds like something that would grow beneath your balls, of logical fallacies. And um, that, that's something we've got to watch out for as well. We're thinking logically. We're thinking critically on this show. And we're going to talk about sexual harassment. And I'm going to define it in my own way, but I'm going to tell you about the animal and how the animal treats sexual attention and provocative dressing. Women, first off, if you don't want the attention, you just shouldn't show it. It's that simple. Most of us men are civilized. We're not going to hoot and holler and call. Some of us, eh. But there is a primal instinct in our brain, as well as higher levels of testosterone on average than females, that tells us not only do we need to constantly push to breed, but we must spread our genes as far and wide in the gene pool as possible. Now, most of us are past that. We get involved in long-term relationships. We are faithful to our women. I don't know, uh, what is it, about 50% anyway? I've always been a faithful type. Uh, I, I don't like, you know, I've been hurt that way before, and it's the most intimate way to hurt somebody to cheat on them, in, in my opinion. Because that is intimate. And if you're going to, you know, share that experience with someone and then just, oh, I think I'll fuck somebody else. Well, that's not cool. All right, so <clears throat> you're going to go out dressed in a skirt that is about three inches below your pube line. You're going to wear high heels you're going to wear a shirt that hugs you so tightly you can barely breathe and then you're going to bitch when guys walk up to you and say hey honey what will it take for me to get your number cut the shit cut the shit women that is fucking crazy and you know it okay this is not a nature versus nurture debate here it is not it is nature. Okay, uh, take a look at caveman behavior. What was different from caveman behavior to the behavior now? What happens, if you want to know, just look at any animal species that's relatively developed. Look at chimpanzee colonies. Okay, uh, they get together and the woman typically uh, flirts with the, 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 I'm sorry, the female typically flirts with the male, but there is a display showing that she's ready to breed, okay? Usually in, in mammals, this involves a, a enlarged uh, uh, labia, uh, and, and you, you have no question about it. Well, these signaling behaviors, whether it's the man, wh whether it's the uh, hermit crab with showing the biggest claw come into my hole with me uh, or it's uh, the peacock showing the most beautiful feathers um, there is always a, a call going out okay now let's go back to women I happen to have grown up with four sisters and I've heard every argument for and against sexual harassment provocative dressing male attention okay so yeah I'm coming from kind of an expert level here because I lived with it for a long time. So stick with me here. Having been a fervent student of psychology as well, 
I can tell you this. Some women, when they dress provocatively, for one thing, they can have a hundred different reasons for that, believe it or not, men. It, it does not mean that I want to fuck the first guy that walks up to me and gives me a compliment, okay? Why don't you wipe that out of your head? We need to get you a little smarter, guys. The ones that are doing the cat calls and the dumb shit, we need to get you a little smarter. Women that dress like that are not necessarily saying, come do me, okay? Some are. But what a woman likes to do sometimes is to test her sexual marketability. Test her sexual marketability. It's very important to her self-esteem. It rises out of a primal instinct deep in the brain to make sure she's still wanted by people of the opposite sex. Where do we run into problems? When the woman is not being hit upon by men that she deems worthy. Therein lies a huge problem. She wants to be hit on, but not by losers. She wants to be hit on, but not by short guys, not by bald guys, not by guys missing teeth. He has to be wealthy and or handsome and or whatever it is she finds important. So there's a silent qualifier going on in the woman's mind. What's worse, this can change during the course of a given evening. She could be going out trying to get attention from nerds because nerds have been ignoring her and then suddenly change her mind and decide she wants to attract bad boys. So the nerd walks up who an hour ago would have gotten some attention from her and she gives him the face, the hand. You walk away. Walk away from me. Oh, I've seen it before. Bars is a perfect place to witness this type of behavior because when you get the human mind drunk, uh, you tend to reveal the animal a little bit more, wouldn't you say? Uh, the animal does come out. Uh, let's talk, let's see, Crash, <coughs> Crash is pretty passionate about this. Let me ask you, hi Andrew, w welcome to the chat brother. Uh, my favorite Australian is in the chat with us now. Uh, Chris Crash Jesus, now uh, your lovely wife I'm guessing from a couple of the photos she she will dress in a an attractive way. What do you think does it does it bother you? Do you get a little jealous or uh and if you don't, do you find it, you know, oh wow, that let's say you she was wearing loose baggy jeans and a loose baggy shirt compared to one of those more visually appealing outfits. What do you see different? Uh and that woman in those two outfits. What, what changes in your mind? Tell me about that in the chat room. Uh, and, and let's see. Yeah, they, they bitch when you do say anything. They bitch when you don't. Yeah. Okay, you know, we have, we have what's average here. And we have what's the exception. Average is what I'm almost always talking about on Truth on Tap. I'm describing the average male. You know, Andrew may be a guy who never hits on women. Maybe he finds it rude. It could be an Australian cultural thing. could just be he's an exception to the rule. We're talking about on average. Okay, on average in the human race, the man chases the woman. This is not something new. This goes beyond culture. It goes beyond religion. This is something that has been rewarded for probably a million years, maybe longer, as we went through the evolutionary changes. Imagine who got rewarded. The people that bred more. So it either, evolution, you think of it as a river going through a valley, but it's not quite like that. It's more like a tree that just wants to keep regenerating. So what, what kind of changes does it have to make? It has to change to its environment. If you get people with low levels of testosterone and say higher levels of oxytocin, then you find that you have a negative population growth. So what's going to be rewarded by Mother Nature? Fucking is. Whoever's breeding more is going to put out more. Put out more offspring. That's all. It's that simple. Uh, Crash says about his wife, attention at events huge when she goes to shop, right, and sweats nothing. So you're saying that outfits make a big difference. Um, well, I've got something to read to you, Crash, about a girl 
who wrote a post on a message board. Yeah, I've got some articles up here, and I want you to compare that to what happened to her 